This week on The Wire, owner occupiers to lead fastest recovery on record, RBA says home building to drive economy forward, and first home buyer loans reach 10 year high. G'day guys, my name's Tim's Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, uh, please follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So let's get into the top stories happening this week. First up, owner occupiers to lead fastest recovery on record. So with record high values for Australian dwellings expected in a few months time, 2020 will see the fastest market recovery on record. And CoreLogic says the recovery is being led by owner occupiers. So since national dwelling volumes bottomed out at 8.4% below their peak in June 2019, the Australian dwelling market has quickly recovered 6.7%. This comes from CoreLogic's Eliza Owen. She says if growth rates continue at the January trajectory, Australia's dwelling market will make a full nominal recovery by April, marking a 10 month recovery period, she says. Now this compares to an average recovery time of 11.7 months in previous cycles. Now this is remarkable when considering the relatively long time it took for the market to bottom out. Now Owen says housing finance data from the ABS shows much more activity from first home buyers, upgraders and downsizers in this recovery than previously. During the previous upswing from 2012 to 2017, owner occupiers accounted for almost 60% of new housing finance, but over the past seven months, this has risen to 71%. Now for our next story, RBA says home building to drive economy forward. So the Reserve Bank forecasts Australia's economy will grow by about 2.75% this year and by 3% next year, confirming a positive outlook for the nation despite the bushfires and the coronavirus. Reserve Bank Governor Philip Lowe says falling unemployment through reconstruction activity will counterbalance any damaging effects of the bushfires and the virus. He says the economic hit from the devastating bushfire season and unfolding virus threat will only temporarily weigh on domestic growth. He notes that the slowdown in global growth that started in 2018 was coming to an end and that global growth is expected to be slightly stronger this year and next than it was last year. He attributes the expected growth to the low level of interest rates, recent tax refunds, ongoing spending on infrastructure, a bright outlook for the resource sector, and later this year, an expected recovery in residential construction. Lowe also points to the Australian dollar being around its lowest level in recent times, which will boost and is great news for exporters. So now moving on to our final story of the week. First home buyer loans reach 10 year high. So first home buyer loans surged in December to their highest level since late 2009, and this is according to new ABS data. Master Builders Chief Economist Shane Garrett says the volume of home loans to first home buyers increased 6.2% to record a monthly total of almost 10,000. The last time a higher monthly total was recorded was exactly 10 years ago, back in December 2009. The good news is that first home buyer activity has stepped up even further since the start of this year, he says. The new first home loan deposit scheme is already a big success and the official data will show more big gains for first home buyers once it is released. During December, the first home buyer share of the owner occupied market was highest in Western Australia at 43%, followed by Victoria 41%, the Northern Territory 38 and the ACT 33%. This week's figures also show that other areas of the housing market are recovering well. Property investor loans expanded for the third consecutive month and hit a 14 month high during December, Garrett says. Well guys, that's the top stories for this week. Remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our next Just Ask Tim video series. And if you, there's a, you want to submit a question or there's a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to do that. Apart from that guys, that's it from me. So have a great week and remember, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference and that is action. Thanks a lot guys, see ya.